Most people run from pain, but Goggins runs towards it. This is how legends are made. You go on vacations? No. Never? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> For me, creatively, it's good. It's good to get a reset because I come back in guns blazing like a really, uh, I don't, I don't risk any mental burnout when I do it. Well, I have resets, but my resets are like, um, I call them aid stations mental aid stations mm. so when you're going fucking hard and you grind all the fucking time like everybody knows you're 24 hours in a day but when i'm in the shower it's a mental aid station mm -hmm. i don't think about shit i don't fucking think about people i don't think about work i don't think about running i don't think about working out when i'm in the car another fucking mental aid station when i'm fucking eating mental aid station so people eat and they work and all this other shit man so i i can grind hard because a lot of times, man, I'm in mental fucking A stations. Mm. Chilling. So you have little mini vacations. Mini vacations, man. All day long. <laughs> all day long. Do you feel now almost a responsibility to, like, stay at it all the time because so many people are watching and paying attention and drawing inspiration from you? A hundred percent. I mean, like, I probably would have retired a long time ago. But I get these emails from people. And it's like they're living through me. Like, their strength comes through what they know I'm doing. So there's so many times I want to get up and say, oh, man, fuck it, man, I got mine, I'm good. And I'm like, fuck, fucking Tommy out there, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking Tommy talking Tommy about. Tommy in his email. Tommy talking about, fuck he it, saved man. saved his life. Man, I ran 10 miles last night because of you, man. I'm like, you know, a lot of people can live off of that, and they can fucking be good with that. And, you know, a lot of motivational people come out here, man, and run their motherfucking mouths about shit. And I know they are not doing shit. They sit back and they're fucking like, you know, they have their little brainstorming sessions about, oh, what should we say? What's yeah. going to what's gonna connect with people while they're sitting on their fucking ass? My brainstorming sessions is fucking out there in the fucking grip of life, fucking grinding. And that's where I think all my material comes from to suck. We're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it making money? It, is, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? So I, I, it's performed without purpose. You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker? I'm still going to get it. Because when that time comes, because the time is going to come, when that purpose is there, you'll be ready. But most of us fucking aren't ready because we don't know how to do without having the golden carrot in front of us. I'm always preparing for, like, not being a bitch. Like, a lot of people get to a point, like, for instance, like, if Jennifer can't do something, like, if, you know, if, if, if she can't go for a run or whatever, just like, because she, something's wrong, like, some simple shit, it's going to bother her. I got to a point in my life where I realized this is life. And so I move on past things real quick. So people are like, oh, my God, what are you going to do, David, if you can't run? Motherfucker, I'll swim. Or I'll go to college or I'll do something else. This, like, like, this isn't my life. So I'm, 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 I'm very aware how quick life can take shit from you. And I've always prepared my mind for the next chapter. People try to title me and label me. No, I had something to fucking do. Well, the way I describe it to people when people ask me, like, why does he do all these things? Like, what is, it, what is the motivation here? I go, he's on a mental journey that very few people have ever been on because the but people don't understand you they or they misunderstand you or they purposely misinterpret the way you're living your life you're trying to understand your mind in a way that very few human beings ever get to understand their mind because you're taking your mind into these terrible dark places all the time and you're trying to pull things out of that you're trying to learn things about yourself and about your potential from that. That's exactly it. And that's what people don't understand. I study the darkness. You, you, you find no fucking answers in the light. None. It's too happy. It's too nice. And we're not, we don't need to be taught how to live in happiness. That, that just comes naturally to us. 
happy moments, but the dark times, man, you can't, and you can't get there unless you put yourself there. Life will take you there. But when you get into those dark moments, that's why people, that's why people, how, how are you able, man, I couldn't fucking read and write till I was a junior in high school. How are you able to write like this, man? Motherfucker, I, I go to such places in my mind and I study the darkness. Like it's not just physical. When I was growing up and I saw my mom getting beat and I got beat and I was some stuttering little black kid in all white school and I'm on stage and I gotta say one line one fucking line in front of fucking 15 people and I walk off stage kind of fucking stutter. All those insecurities and all those fucking things, man. I used to go home and fucking cry. I'm like, oh my God, man, I'm fucked up. I'm so fucked up. I, I'm, I'm, hang on, man. As I got older, we got to study this shit, man. The only way we're going to fucking get through this is if we study it. So every time I'm in a dark moment and life's fucked up around me, whether it be physical or just life, I get in it, man, with a fucking pen and paper. I'm like, okay. This fucking sucks. I can feel like I'm fucking losing my shit, but let's fucking study this. Let's come out of this motherfucker a genius. You know, I studied the I studied the 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 black matter of the mind. The dark matter. You know, like fucking Stephen Hawkins. That's if that's fucking his name, I said it right. <laughs> that motherfucker studied the space and shit. Yeah. That's where I consider myself, man. You know, I, I was on a journey like, just like you said. I mean you, you you couldn't have said any better. Remember, pain is temporary, but greatness lasts forever. This wraps up the video with a motivational punch, staying true to the Gaga's mindset.